Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install your own contact paper chalkboard on the wall behind me. Most things you can do it on smooth walls. So if it's really bumpy like the ceiling is, not going to work. So first things first, you're going to take your uh, sponge, any kind of sponge you need, get it wet, you know, use mild soap, wash the wall off completely to get the dust, grime, or whatever's on there, and then dry it off the towel, and then wait another 10, 20 minutes till it's completely dry, and then you're gonna install the contact paper. For my wall behind me, we're gonna do about four of them. It's gonna fill up about 80, 90% of, of the wall that I want. Um, my wall behind me is 11 feet, six inches width, and 91.8 inches high. Okay, the items we're gonna be using is this contact paper that I got from Amazon. Um, it comes in three rolls, or you can buy them individually, depends on how much you need. Um, description for the link uh, below. Also, I bought these uh, chalk markers, description link below. They are great, actually. Used them. They do leave a little uh, haze in the background after you leave it for a long time. Okay, first things first is you're gonna need to measure your wall to see exactly where you want it. I use a leveler and to go up and down from my straight lines so we can put the contact paper chalkboard on correctly so it doesn't look crooked. And if you are gonna cut it, I'm not gonna cut it, but it does have these lines in the back. You can use a knife or scissors or anything you have to cut it and it cuts really well. Already washed our wall behind us to save time. So let's get started. Okay guys, let's get started. My lovely wife is gonna help me because you need two people to do this. Otherwise you can't do it unless you're that good. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Got my first rule here, and we're using four of these rolls. Okay, first things first, take about that much off, and you're gonna peel the front part. Okay, see I'm holding it here, holding the inside, and then I'm gonna hold this. As I'm holding it, I'm gonna hold the inside with my index fingers, and then hold the rest. And then we're gonna just lay it down first. Okay, as she is putting it down. You can either use your arm or a paint roller, which is good, which we don't have. So we're using a uh, arm and then also this uh, sponge looking thing. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but that thing, an applicator, I guess. Okay, she's going and take your time. This ain't no rush thing. So far looking good. Go slowly. Not every wall out there is not that flat. So I think this is good. As you can see, I don't know if you can see this, there is a little bumps right here. And that is just from the paint. Lots of paint, paint I guess. Don't apply too much pressure, just... Roll number two. Oh yeah, the chalk is all inside of the tube. So I know some customers were saying, where's the chalk? It's in the tube. I even said it when I first got it. So now we're gonna overlap it just a little. Finally, the last roll. Let's do this. Okay, now the end, when you go really high, you're gonna need a couple chairs that can hold your weight, of course. And this one, really take your time. Hold this, I'm gonna do my best. Well, I do, but. Hold it back. Does it call when you 
uh, what they say, wait for 24 hours for let it cure. Okay guys, as you can see here, looks pretty good. You'll, you'll do see some bumps, that's just from paint. They say to do it on uh, flat walls, but good luck with flat walls. And just rub it all around. And you see that it's uneven here? I just take a straight edge and I'm gonna cut it straight down to make it even all across, that way it looks good. Okay guys, now that we got that done, it looks great, beautiful. It's not 100% even. I think we have that knee that's still in, weird. Anyways, uh, they say let it 24 hours, let it sit before you actually ride on it because if you want to ride on it, you want to erase it. Um, so don't put any water on it. Try not to ride on it for the next 24 hours. Um, it might be okay, but I would recommend going over it one more time with uh, a paint roller if you have that or credit card covering with a thick paper towel or a cloth actually. And Make sure it sticks, and then hopefully in the morning it doesn't fall. Um, I think we shall be good. I'm actually gonna test it now. Uh, we got these uh, Chocola chalk markers, 30 of them, and descriptions in the Amazon box, as well as the link for everything here is in the description below. Um, so first, with these markers, now they come two-sided. So there is a round tip and an edge tip. I recommend leaving it on the round tip for now, but to use them, you uh, get a paper towel, press down till it starts bleeding, make sure it's closed, and shake it really, really good. Any of these, shake them really, really good. Okay, so it has a lot of selective of colors, which is great. And then when you store them, they have to be stored on their sides. So I'm going to show you how it works. So, can you see that? It looks works pretty, pretty good. I love these markers. Um, if you see that it's like really wet and muggy, shake it some more and dab the pen onto a paper towel. Um, if it gets on your clothes, it might not come off. So be aware of that. Um, also, Came with uh, five chalks, each of these packages. We actually got six of these so we could do other things in the house. So we have 30 chalks. I'm gonna show you. They do break easily. I just broke half of one trying to open it. So be prepared for that. Don't get upset, it's chalk. So now I'm gonna write next to it. Very gentle light, you don't need no pressure. And it works great. Black chalkboard. Let me know if you guys get this, if you have any questions. So if you like this video, please comment below, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And you guys have a wonderful day.